Hi, so this is the Rivals for Catan. This is another video and that's because it is going to be for the expansion. I did mention that before, that um, I'll be very keen to show the expansion. And it's my birthday today. I'm happy to give you a quick video because I'm opening up a new one. I don't do many unboxings anymore um, as I was keen to hear if people wanted them. But I know if there's something special, uh, they'll be interested. So this is for the Ear of Merchant Princes. This is for the first expansion, the first theme for the Age of Enlightenment. So, um, one second, I'm finding out this tripod's uh, got a mind of its own. So, what I'm noticing is that um, based on last month, um, I've played this game more than any other person on Board Game Geek. And of all time, someone's played this 117 times. I'm only at 16 plays, which is still on the most uh, page, page one. But this is what the Ear of Merchant Princes look like. So we're going to grab the relevant cards and this is what we're going to be playing with. So we're going to have Wainwright, so we're going to have the opportunity to increase our commodity and do better in that respect. Um, we're going to have a chance to get more like Abbey, more, more progress points, which can help you gain more resources. Um, you can get um, ships cheaper with like lumber, basically wood or wool cheaper. You have Metropolis, which gives you four victory points. And you have Lighthouses, which can give you victory points as well. Craft Guilds. So, yeah, lots of different cards. So that's what we're playing with. The game is set up, as you can see. We're ready to go. Um, we've got some uh, events. So are these relevant events? This is for a different era. This is going to be the Era of Intrigue. So quickly go through these. Um, let me just check on the order. So Era of Intrigue goes up to here. And we're going to be doing how to set up play and review of these in a moment. So it seems like there's only two different things you can play in this expansion. Um, Odin's Fountain, and your turn, you may exchange two cards instead of one. Uh, if you choose the cards each time you do so, you must pay the respective costs. Uh, you've got Ryan and the Miller, place adjacent to a field. You may change and trade grain. Fields next to your different resources are rated two to one. For grain mill adjacent to the fields, um, you can do it one to one. Okay, Abbey Brewers, you can increase your strength, you can increase your commodity, handy thing with all those dice rolls, the church, so in terms of how this works, the Ear of Merchant Princes I think was one of the first things to come along, and then we had, uh, basically we had the Christian ways of Catan, and the, also the ways of, these are going to be some other cards to open up, um, I'm not sure if I need to open these, when I want to do it, because that sages, and that is also to do with sages. I can tell that because on the back it talks about Frederick Sage of the Hills. So I'm opening it another time. But in this case, as it's an unboxing, something's being opened. And uh, we have an audience. Someone else is going to open it in front of me. Somebody else is going to open it. Are they going to pull it? Are they doing it in front? No, it seems to be as it's me. I'm doing it. And I'm opening this up and seeing what's inside it. Do we have anything other than... So now this is Ear of Barbarians. So I know this is the one you play second. Lots of cards Barbarian. Here we go. More Merchant Prince cards. It's a good thing we opened that up. I didn't feel like there was that many cards. And as for these events, these are Barbarian events. Barbarian attacks. So that's kind of... Once all three of these uh, cards are put together in terms of the um, original three themes these expansion three themes and the second expansion three themes of all three barbarians is going to come second sorry third after the original one which i think is progress and after i think the merchant princes so here are the cards we're going to use for today we've got the triumph card to increase your victory points you've got more opportunities here brigand attacks can give you ore you can get some gold spent to get a resource uh, to your choice, Jason, to Wolfgang. Okay, lots of different cards. Some castles. Arsenal for brigand attack. Um, protects them. There aren't any promo cards in, in these sets, but having seen them, there's only, I think, one that's interesting. That's the swimmer. You can win a race. The Capricious Sea. So Calm Sea featuring trade ships. Each player receives any one resource of their choice. A storm, five or six. Each player slides one of their trade ships he plays in his principality. After a matching draw stack, so basically you have to watch out for your trade ships. Hmm. So that's a risky one. So there we go. We've got uh, four events. 
and we've got that additional card. So now these are going to get shuffled up and put together, and that becomes the era of Merchant Princes. Don't really need to shuffle these up too much because um, first time playing with them, and I think based on how they come, they aren't necessarily going to be all uh, next to each other despite on how things are printed. But having said that, the Monopoly one was next to it, as was the Trading Post, so it is actually how they're printed, which makes sense. More pirate ships, Commercial Harbour, the Lighthouse, more craft guilds. So this is where we want to kind of just chuck them in the middle and count out to see if I have an even number. I'm imagining there should be an even number, although there's 125 cards in the um, complete set and expansion. There's four, five each, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there's 26 cards, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, yeah. So there we have it, that is the unboxing and a bit of a house set up as well, not a review, I still need to see how it plays, but I'll tell you how that goes later on. So Rivals of Catan, Age of Darkness, playing with the Ear of Merchant Princes. And we have these new uh, question marks to be shoveled in. So we have to watch out for the Yule, place the Yule at the bottom, chuck these over, Chuck these in a random place and give them a shuffle and see if and what we are going to struggle with to do with the Yule. So, not much for shuffle, but a quick one. Let's see how it goes. Thanks very much for watching. Support, subscribe, like the video, and also any comments, chuck them on YouTube and watch out for the descriptions. Thanks very much for watching. Tweet you again soon. Goodbye.